this Wi-Fi and Bluetooth combo is DW1820A which a lot of people is afraid to use because it's troublesome and yes if you use with Clover is troublesome but if you use an open core it seemed to be perfect so the reason I use the DW1820A because it's inexpensive it's less than twenty dollars while the DW1560 is forty or fifty dollars which is way out of proportion they used to be twenty dollars so because of so many Hackintosh people buy them and they drove the price up okay so there is this DW1820A what is the DW1820A so if you look into the PCI list so it's 43A3 which is the ID device ID DW 1820A also has a problem with the airport or the Wi-Fi when we update it to Mac OS Big Sur. So this is how I, I fix it. Okay. So what you need? So now we open the EFI folder, which a lot of people keep asking me how to do it. Give the link to my EFI. I want to show you how to make an EFI folder that will boot with everything. All right. So this OC, this one is um, 0 0.6.4, the newest one. So in the CAX folder, I'm going to move it in here so later when I crop it, this is the uh, Wi Fi right here. So you need the newest airport broadcom fix up dot kex this version is 2.1.1 you need bluetooth injector broadcom firmware patch ram 3 so if you go to um, open core website you will see all of these where you can download Lilu and um, whatever green so the Lilu let's talk about these these must be 2.5.5 okay and also use the latest Lilu 14.1.4.9 and whatever green 1.4.4 just use those in the CAX folder and then we're going to use config the config is extremely important in open core it's very simple whatever you do you have to enter it in the kernel so the first thing you want to do is this you need to get you need to patch using the hacking tools PCI device this one it will show your Wi-Fi the DW 1620 all right generate patch alternate A alternate C and you're going to open a text file so what do I use with the text editor in here alternate V save as sky lake devices PL right Okay, 
make sure you have the extension all right so now when you open this up so you look inside the device property is a PCI 01C 03 so this is my airport extreme you're gonna add in the device property PCI root exactly the same as here just copy this one and you paste it in here so when you paste this in here you put PCI ASPM default to zero and that's it and the compatible is 4331 so the kernel if you did it on the Catalina if it works already then it should work the same you don't have to do anything with this one so you have to have airport broadcom fix up cax first then injector bluetooth injector then the firmware data then the patch ram 3 so you get four cax in order like this and on the NVRAM add so you have to boot in the you have to put the argument in the boot argument this one right here BRCM fix FX driver equal to 2 so you must have that now a lot of people say that their Bluetooth work but their Wi-Fi doesn't work the Bluetooth only works part-time because if you want the handoff support you need to have Wi-Fi so it didn't really work if you use the DW 1820A the Broadcom is you want the handoff support if not you don't need to install this one so when Wi-Fi works then you have the handoff and when you have the handoff you can do the airdrop alright that's it